Back in the day of the Super Nintendo, if you wanted to play with your friends, you simply had to plug another controller into the system and play locally. Internet and online wasn't really a thing back then. However, with SNES 9X, the Super Nintendo emulator, you can now play with your friends online. It's really easy to do, and today I'm going to show you how you can set it up. Just a quick explanation though on how this works. If you load up SNES 9X and then go to the top menu and then press Net Play. From here, you'll see Connect to Server or Act as a Server. Use Act as a Server if you're going to host the game and use Connect to a Server if you're going to connect to someone else. We're going to start this tutorial by acting as a server. So go up to Net Play and then select Act as Server. You'll see a note pop up on your screen which gives you the host information and your port number. This is the information that you're going to need to give to your friend if they're connecting to you. Once you press OK, you'll see at the very top of the window the information will change from saying SNES 9X and your version number to waiting for response from the client and a percentage. You'll know that you're acting as a server if this information shows. And it's at this point you can give the port forwarding and host information to your friend. If you want to stop playing though and you're acting as a server, all you need to do is go back up to Netplay and select Act as a Server again. It should have a tick next to it if the server is active. The tick won't be there if you're inactive. Let's say you're not hosting but you want to connect to someone else. Start up SNES 9X and load up the same game as your friend. Then go up to Netplay and select Connect to a Server. In the server address box, type in the host information that they've given you. Once you've done that, if it's not already in the box, you'll need to enter the port number as well. When that's done, just press OK. You should connect to your friend and be able to play. When you finish playing, you can again go up to Netplay and this time select Disconnect from Server. Either one of Connect or Disconnect will be greyed out and that's dependent on if you're actually connected or disconnected. You'll also be informed through the emulator if a host or a client has paused the game. If either the host or the client are experiencing any issues, either of you can go up to Netplay and then select Options. Here you'll see your port number, but you'll also be able to ask the server to pause if you go a certain number of frames behind. There's also a small number of other sync settings here if you need them. One thing you'll need to do as well, especially if you're the host, is go to Netplay and then send ROM image to clients. This will help them be in sync with you and you'll both be able to see the same picture at the same time. One really important thing is that you don't just need the same game you'll need the same version of it. So if one person is using a US release and another person is using a European release, you're not going to be able to connect to each other. So that was just a very quick tutorial on how to play Super Nintendo games online using SNES 9X. If you found this tutorial useful, drop the video a like, feel free to share it and also check out some other videos within the playlist in the ultimate guide to Super Nintendo emulation.